raised a question. Go ahead, go ahead. Gog and Magog decide they're going to resettle Israel with uh, Jews. You said, and I'm looking at the people in Israel, and you could argue they're plebs, proletariat, they're a lot of them drinking alcohol. It's not as if they're scholars. It's not as if they're intellectuals. And um, I'm not sure of their uh, loyalty to faith either. So it, it doesn't really add up. It's such a pious, noble cause to resettle Israel from thousands of years ago. Okay. But wh what are you resettling it with? Just ordinary, half of them are uh, flying in from America. I mean, they've got no okay. sense of, of history. Okay. This is a secret now. And we are revealing a secret, huh? It's dangerous stuff now. <laughs> it's a secret. But it's a secret that the world knows about. <laughs> that there are Jews who are cousins of the Arabs. They are genetically cousins of the Arabs. You can do a laboratory ex examination of their genes, their blood and so on, and you'll find the evidence, genetical evidence, genetic evidence, sorry, that these Jews are cousins of the Arabs. They are Arabs. Semitic people. Uh, and then there are other Jews, and they are, of course, the absolute majority, maybe nine out of every ten, are Jews who have absolutely no genetic link with the Arabs. They're not an Israelite people at all. Who are these? These are people who converted to Judaism once upon a time. Uh, when we do the research, it's dangerous research, of course, but if I know Maurice Herman, he's not afraid of danger, no. Um, if you do the research, you will find that the Aichaza people, who lived in that region of the world where Zulkarnain bit the barrier, these people became Jews, and then some of them be became Christians, having become Jews. And so you have Chaza on this side of the Christian, on this side of the fence in the Christian world, and you have Chaza on that side of the fence in the Jewish world in Europe. And they work from inside the European Christian world and the European Jewish world to bring about a mysterious reconciliation and rapprochement and eventually a Judeo-Christian alliance emerge. The Vatican, of course, played a very important role in that. These are the Jews and the Christians who are described in the Quran as Gog and Magog. You know, if you look at the settlement of Palestine, the mass migration, the uh, impetus to, to rid the country of the indigenous people, there, there are tremendous parallels with the United States, with the Americas, and, and Australia, etc. And uh, are, is it just a coincidence, or is it indeed being masterminded by the same the, mentality or the, people? The greatest oppressor that mankind has ever known in all of human history, the one who shed the most blood, who created the most corruption and destruction on the face of the earth, are these people who have emerged from modern Western civilization. And we were told about it, you know, Morris, once upon a time long before you were born. The Lord God spoke to the angels and he said to them that I'm going to place on earth one who will rule, Khalifa, Khalifa, remember that word, eh? Khalifa, to rule. And the Lord God said to David, Nabi Dawood David, I'm, I am appointing you as Khalifa on earth. 
And you must rule on the basis of the truth which has come from me. Morris' truth does not come from the New York Times. It doesn't come from the Washington Post. It most certainly doesn't come from CNN. They tell monstrous lies. They don't even have a sense of shame now. They've lost that now. And you cannot, it, you cannot have truth and also lies. They're incompatible with each other. The angel said to the Lord God, are you going to place on earth those who will do this? They will commit facade. They will corrupt the earth. They will destroy and they will shed immense blood. This is what the angels said and this is what is happening. They started with an island off the coast of Europe. Napoleon had contemptuously dismissed as a nation of shopkeepers. But that little island gave to the world a scientific and technological revolution, which gave to it command of the seas. At that time, there was no air power. And Britain controlled the seas of the world. Britain controlled power with control over every single significant naval port on the face of the earth. And with that power, using power to oppress, using power to shed blood. You got the British Empire, a bloody empire. And these are the people who eventually transferred power to the United States, who then shed even more blood than Britain shed, and even more atrocious in their oppression than Britain ever was. So these are people who, if you cannot recognize them as oppressors, something is wrong with you. These cannot be a people who have received the law from Moses, Nabi Musa alayhi salam, and who are authentic Jews, and who want to live a righteous life. They cannot be a believing Jew and yet be oppressors. A believing Jew is my brother. A believing Jew, I can sit with him at the same table and eat the food that he is eating. Yes, because the Lord God told me, if the Jew offers me food to eat, that I am allowed to eat his food. That's how close he is to me. Yeah. These are not believing Jews. We don't have any quarrel with the believing Jew. We have no hatred in our hearts for the believing Jew. No. We are brothers. And we've been warned in the Quran that when we enter into religious discussions with the Jews and with the Christians, the Lord God has warned us Ensure that you enter into dialogue and description, dis, into dialogue and discussion in the best possible way, using the best language, showing the most politeness possible. Don't cross that line. That's how we relate to the Jews and the Christians who are not oppressors. But these nine out of ten Jews in the world today plus the, or the Zionist Christians, they are the world's greatest oppressors. And they have shed so much blood that a tomorrow is coming. Maurice, a tomorrow is coming. When even the stones and the rocks will speak and say, come and kill him. Because even the stones and the rocks will be fed up of these oppressors. Mm -hmm.